वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ थेरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट गैलीलियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अबाउट व्हाट इज गैलीलियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी नो दैट थेरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी इज अबाउट व्हाट इज रिलेटिव एंड व्हाट इज एब्सोल्यूट सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज रिलेटिव एंड एब्सोल्यूट इन मोशन अकॉर्डिंग टू Newton's mechanics in Newton's mechanics. So, what are the physical quantities that are involved in Newton's mechanics? We know these are distance, displacement, velocity, speed, and acceleration. These are the quantities that we use to describe the motion of an object. Now, which of these are relative and which of these are absolute? That is the whole idea of relativity to understand this let us take an example in this example we are going to consider two frames of reference now remember frames of reference means a coordinate axis like we see in the diagram where x and y axis are there z axis is also there but it is not drawn as well as a time axis is also there or clocks are there so let us take two such reference frame one reference frame let us call it s okay you can give a name to a to this reference frame suppose there is a person let us call him anil who is in this reference frame his reference frame is s let us take another person who is in this other reference frame this reference frame is traveling with velocity v you can take an example of a person traveling in a train or traveling in a car with a velocity v that velocity is constant because we are talking about inertial frame of reference that is the frame of reference which are either at rest or are traveling with uniform velocity let us call this person sunil so there are two persons in two different reference frame one is anil who is in stationary or a reference frame which is at rest and one is sunil which is in a frame of reference which is moving with a constant velocity v okay let us also define a new concept that is event what is event event is something that happens but it is independent of the reference frame that we are going to use to specify this event this event is specified is described by using x y z and t coordinates that is by using space and time this event occurs at a particular point in a space that means it has definite x y z and at a particular time that means it has a particular t now let us take example of this both reference frame okay at time t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 this reference frames coincide ha huh? the origins of this reference frames coincide now i have drawn it up and down but actually they are coinciding after time let us say some time interval t when this s dash reference frame has moved a little bit forwards let us say that an event happens ha huh? a event like switching on of a bulb when this bulb switch on then what is the x y z and t of this event with respect to s and with respect to s dash so what is the event the event is of turning on of this light source according to s they are at, the event has happened at x y z and t and let us say according to s dash the event has happened at x dash y dash z dash and t now what is the relation between x and x dash y and y dash z and z dash and t and t dash this relation between this coordinates from one reference frame to another reference frame is what is called as transformation now from this figure it is quite clear that it is easy to find this relation x dash is the distance from the 
s dash coordinate x is up to here whereas s is the distance from here to here so we can see that x dash will be equal to x that is this whole length minus this distance what is this distance this is the distance that this s dash frame has traveled in time t now how much is this distance we can easily calculate because v is the velocity and t is the time distance is equal to velocity into time so this distance is v into t so to find the relation between x dash and x we will have to subtract x minus v t and we will get x dash now since the object or the frame is not traveling along y axis or z axis y dash will be equal to y z dash will be equal to z and the time for both the frames is same so t dash will be equal to t this equations this set of equations are called as transformation equations these are called transformation equations what do they help us to do if we know what are x y z and t then we can easily find what will be x dash y dash z dash and t dash for example if we know x y z and t with respect to a person who is at rest for example we know what the values are for anil then we can easily find what the values will be for sunil by using this transformations or we can do it vice versa we know what are the values for sunil then we can easily find what are the values for the frame of reference in which anil is present huh? this will be called as inverse transformation equations huh? so one set is called as transformation equations and the other set vice versa set is called as inverse transformation equations now you can easily obtain these two equations by changing the sides now so what does this tell us this tells us that position is relative this position is relative and it depends on the reference frame so let us find up about the next concept that is velocity to find velocity we know that we will have to differentiate this equation we will have to differentiate this equation with respect to t so differentiating equation number 1 with respect to t we will get dx dash by dt dash now t and t dash are same is equal to dx by dt minus v is constant so we will be outside dt by dt so we will get dx dash by dt is equal to dx by dt minus v that means this is the velocity of the object in s dash frame of reference and this is the velocity of the object in s frame of reference let us call this velocity as u so we get u dash is equal to u minus v that is the velocity is also relative okay let us go further and differentiate it one more time so that we find out the relation for acceleration so d2x dash by dt square will be equal to d2x by dt square minus d of v by dt now this is a constant so differentiation of this will be equal to zero that means d2x dash by dt square will be equal to d2x by dt square okay there are many conclusions that we can make the time interval and the space interval measurements are absolute that means they don't don't depend on the frame of reference mass as we know is absolute it does not depend on the frame of reference next thing we can conclude is this one that newton's laws and the conservation principles will not depend on the frame of reference or are invariant or absolute in all, all inertial frame of reference the last thing which we can conclude is 
because the newton's laws and the conservation principles do not depend on the frame of reference so you cannot carry out any mechanical experiment such as throwing the ball in the air or juggling the ball or using a pendulum no mechanical experiment you can carry out to find out what is the velocity of the frame of reference the frame of reference in which you are traveling that is conclusion number 3 to understand this imagine that you are traveling in a imagine that you are traveling imagine that you are traveling in a train so in this train if you are present inside this train and this train is covered from all the sides such that you cannot see what is outside then what this tells us is that you cannot carry out any experiment inside this box and try to understand or answer these questions whether you are at rest or whether you are moving with uniform velocity there is no experiment that you can do but if the box is not covered from outside from all the sides and you can see what is happening outside then maybe you you can know whether you are at rest or you are moving same case will be there if you are standing outside this box but when you are inside the box and all the sides are covered then there is no experiment that you can do uh, especially a mechanical experiment you can do uh, which will tell you whether you are at rest or whether you are moving and also you cannot find out with what velocity you are moving what is the absolute velocity when you are accelerating then that is a different case when you accelerate then it is not a inertial frame of reference but rather a non inertial frame of reference you may know from your experience that when a bus accelerates in forward direction you are immediately pushed in backward direction so from this you can understand whether the bus is accelerating or whether the bus is not accelerating but you cannot do any experiment and understand whether the bus is if the bus is traveling with a constant velocity and all the windows are covered then you cannot understand whether the bus has stopped or whether it is actually moving so this is the third conclusion so in this lecture we try to understand what is galilean transformation or what is relative and what is absolute according to newton's mechanics according to newton's mechanics time mass and length are absolute they don't depend on the frame of reference whereas velocity position are relative they depend on the frame of reference we also saw the equations which can be used to find the coordinates and the time if we know the coordinates and the time in one frame of reference they, then we can find out the coordinates and time in all the inertial frame of reference by using transformation equations this is what is called as galilean transformation equations we will have transformation equations and inverse of transformation equations so we will stop here and next class we will see what is the problem with this transformation equations